March 16th came with a massive update that even scared off whales with how many gems we could spend here. However, upon closer inspection, we quickly realized that a lot of it can be skipped. The problem, however, is that we don't think with our heads, we think with something else because we're playing action timing in, right? So if you don't have Sue, you skip this banner, right? We'll take a closer look on everything in a bit. Same for this pickup gacha. It's not too good. You skip it. This event, pretty cool. I'd say it's actually tough. It's a tough event, it seems like. At least normal is a bit tougher than the last one. But the supporter from it, we'll take a look in a bit, is also okay. And the big thing, seven new skins. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. So, of course, you know, I'm someone who preaches using our brains. So, of course, I would not. Oh, okay. Maybe I did buy a few. Bought three. Okay, I bought three. Yo, it's expensive, but I had the gems to spare. Now, luckily, the costumes, they only give defense and crit. So, they suck. So, yay. If you use your brain, you don't have to summon for these. Now, how could I say no to this? Like, just, dude. It barely fits. It's so good. It's so good. So I had to do it. I had to do it. Look, I, ha I I like limited skins, right? So I have to go ahead and get them. Same. Oh, look at that. How do I say no to that? Oh, man. Look, defense and crit. Remember, defense and crit. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so I only had this skin before, so I think this one's way, way nicer. Of course, default's always my favorite, but it's always nice to flex on people. All right, and finally, for Asuka, I know, unfortunately, if you're free to play, it's I don't know if you'll be able to get her and then have the skin still available, but if you can, this is what it looks like. Looks really good. I think this is her best skin by far, so I had to get it. Like... <laughs> my heart i can't take it like compared to the other skins none of them tempt me but this one it was so good i had to get it right i forgot to zoom in on the rinko one so i'm gonna zoom in real quick for you guys my god my god holy shit all right so guys had to get a few luckily i saved up my gems and i'm super happy i did because the gotcha not too worth but before we take a look at the gotcha i have to take a look at something else right we have to take a look at the bundle and is it worth it? Now, if you like Sue, sure, it's worth it. Why? Because if you like this skin, I don't know why you would like this skin, but if you do, well, you got to get this. You got to get it, right? There's no other way to get this skin unless you pay $36. Now, this is a decent weapon for Sue. You can get it in the banner free to play if you summon, but, you know, if you get the bundle, you can just get the supporter free to play. So it's up to you. Right, increase the duration of super armor gained from character skills by 30%. You will see from the supporter this links up really well. Also, reduce damage taken when you're doing normal attacks. That's actually pretty helpful. This weapon is not that good, but I guess it's whatever. And you get 100 gems with it. So, 36 bucks for it. I'd say it's not worth it, but if you really like the skin, go ahead. And the gacha itself comes with something really cool. This skin is really good. Or this supporter, sorry, is really good for Sue, right? You increase melee attack damage by up to 20% if you don't get hit. And also, you reduce damage taken from demon-type enemies by 10%. That's pretty cool, right? Combine it with the weapon. During normal attacks, you get the 22% damage reduction. That's really good. Also, basic melee attacks give a 15% chance of giving you super armor for a second. Now, combine that with the weapon, that's 1.3 seconds. I, it says from skills, however, so I don't know if this necessarily works. I think this is considered the skill, but 1.3 seconds every time you hit, it adds up, right? You will get many chances to hit. So in a second, you'll maybe have many hits. So it's not 15% because, you know, in a second you get, you know, so so this this is really good. It's really good, basically. And you get an active, which um, does a wave. I don't know what that means, but it's basically a skill that hits forward and you get good damage and you remove their super armor. Pretty good. Pretty good. Right? So, all in all, if you have Sue, this is really good. If you don't have Sue, you don't even look at it. All right, next. Pick up Gacha. So, this thing. Increase the damage dealt to machine type enemies by 12%. Enemies are 35% more likely to draw particles upon death. Pretty average. Pretty average. So, easy skip here. And the special or the active... 255% to all enemies, then reduce speed of machine type by 75% for 8 seconds. 
honestly i feel like this is not definitely not made for any pve boss i think this is meant for to counter emily in pvp but the 35 percent drop particles i don't know i don't know it's okay it's not the best thing it's an easy skip in my opinion so if you get her eventually from a random ticket because she'll she's not limited sure she can be good but summoning for this absolutely not uh shop of desires uh everything we can summon for is here so you can get it from the shop of desires and yeah so that's that for the cool stuff now let's take a look at the free to play event so actually let's take a look at which characters got the skins and then we'll take a look at the event so cons no costumes there we go so as you can see seven characters got it now i don't have any of the other four so i can't even want to buy them because i just don't have them but sakura obviously looks fantastic yeah look yuki fans will say this looks cute i don't think it looks cute i don't think yuki is even worth getting she's a good unit yeah sure but like i mean you're playing this game not for good units right um Look, if you like lollies, you like lollies, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, hey, listen, when you have someone like Rinko right next to Yuki and you're tempted by the Yuki, it's like, no, bro, no. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Everyone has preferences and whatever. Okay. <laughs> and but but Kurinai and the and Murasaki look fantastic. So if I had them, I'd get it because they look so good. So I understand people that want to be, but guys, limit yourself. Two skins max, three if you're crazy like me. But don't get seven. Like, just don't do it. You'll you'll be sad. You'll you'll be sad for doing it. All right, let's take a look at the event. Right, so the gacha increased damage dealt to human type enemies by nine percent. That's pretty cool. Restore one percent of lost HP every three seconds for fifteen seconds every time you score a crit. So one percent of your HP every three seconds. If this stacked, so like if you got three crits, you'd get, if it does, it's actually okay. If you only get 1% for three, every three seconds, that's not a lot of, but the increased damage to humans is pretty cool, especially in PvE. If you're dealing with human types, this is probably not going to be too good in PvP because yeah, they're all humans, but like all of this, eh, but deals 238% to all enemies within the range and inflicts bleed to humans that deals extra damage. It's pretty good because the extra damage is the same amount as the initial damage so this is an okay unit if you don't have anything better for pvp it's actually decent but it's also nice against pvp enemies that are humans a lot of bosses are so the healing can help the bleed can help for sure so yeah i got her once so that's pretty exciting all right i guess i'll end the video doing a run on normal with asuka using the new skin so she's only level 60 so i'm actually struggling a bit with this normal at level 60 i want the best build full red uh, my homura and the and i can't remember the other girl's name but they're, they're none of my things are awakened right so they're only level 40 um and the ur one is level 50 all right nice perfect dodge All right, I want to target the long range enemy before going for the short range ones. Whoa, where did he come from? So I'm going to use my things instantly. Oh, look at that. That's worth 350 gems right there, boys. It's really hard to dodge and use normals. Like It's not like on PC where or controller where you can dodge while attacking because I have to remove my finger from the attack button. 
So in, a, in things like this, where they're constantly attacking, it gets super annoying. Alright, nice. Not bad. I almost got the other skill. Nice panty shot right there, holy. <laughs> Alright, so a bit of a struggle for me. Two minutes for the normal run, but I gotta level her up. I gotta level up the supporters and stuff, the skills as well. So yeah. I don't know why they keep asking me to buy this. Like I understand one dollar for that this can actually be pretty cool, but I'm not gonna do it. It's the same thing as that. There's that one deal that's actually pretty much worth it. I didn't know it existed in the store. So I'm going to try to look for it right now. Um, it's like a $5 deal for a lot of gems. Is it, is it this one? No, it's not. Um, okay, I don't know where it is. Maybe upgrade? I have no idea where it is. But it's a $5 deal that you can buy and you get like 400 total jewels. So that's pretty good. You have to log in every day throughout the month, of course. But all in all, it's a pretty good deal. And I'm not going to get it because I don't like spending a small amount, but it's actually really worth. And if I buy it once, I'll be tempted to constantly buy it. And, you know, I don't want to do that. But this was a great update overall. I really enjoyed it when it came out. I was going out of my mind. I'm wishing I couldn't do my first live reactions and stuff, buying the skins and all that because I was busy yesterday. But very exciting stuff. So, yeah. Peace.